I, th I think it's nice and reassuring. Remember, the um, the trial itself was based on an older group, um, whereas most of our um, relapse and remitting trials are looking at younger patients. Uh, secondary progressive and primary progressive trials are looking at older patients. Um, I think breaking out that age group is actually really interesting and it's kind of where we need to go. I think it's nice and reassuring that we do still see an effect in that older patient. Um, and then of course there's nuances into well, what's really going on because we know that um, this drug does cross the blood ring barrier. We think we know what it does in the CNS, but we haven't been able to prove what it actually does within humans, within the brain itself. We can extract from animal models that yes, it might have this effect, it might have neuroprotective effects, but we never really know 100%. But it's reassuring because the whole story is we probably need to treat both the peripheral immune components as well as the CNS component, whatever it is. Um, is that the younger patients are driven more by the peripheral and our older patients driven more by what it's doing in the CNS. We don't know, but it's nice and reassuring that at least on the confirmed disability endpoint in both groups, the effect is pretty similar. I think further studies are needed. Um, so I think it's a great um, uh, area. I think that um, not enough people are Again, it's a, it's a new concept to really focus on age and in patients, and we don't know if that's true or not, right? Because there, there's the actual chronological age that we have, right? Whatever, when were you born with? And then there's the immunological age, right? Which is different in everybody because that impacts on how many infections you have, what you're being treated with. Um, uh, so, so there's the, and then there's the physical age, right? Where some uh, younger patients chronologically just look old. And then there's people who are, are old chronal and they just look fantastic based on their physical, right? So there's, there's different ways we're aging. Um, it's a good surrogate, but is it the right surrogate for the underlying markers? It's just more of a convenient option. But as we get older patients, it, it is definitely where the field needs to go is how do we treat these older patients and what do we do for them? And I think my uh, main highlight is that we just need better agents to target what's actually happening. And by studying these older grade patients and by breaking down this information, we might actually get a better sense of what's actually happening in that progressive stage of the disease in older patients. And then we can get better nuanced treatment um, that allows us to treat throughout the entire spectrum with the appropriate agents at the right time.